Hello, and welcome back to more Metroid Fusion. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go ahead and... I just got off of um, the phone. Well, not the phone, but... I was talking to my friend, the Lucky Visions. You guys remember him from my Borderlands series. Um, from my small one episode long Borderlands video. Um, series thing. And... Um, he told me that Jack Septicai, and I know I, I, I'm just, he said it's, he said it's unfair to your subscribers to have them like your videos for you to continue that series, and, you know, I didn't think about that till now. I have been, um, I have been a little unfair with you guys, and I'm so sorry about that. Um, I, I didn't realize that till now. Um, I really, I apologize. I hope, uh, I can actually make up for it in these videos that I do. Mostly everything in this game can be uncovered by a bomb. Oh yeah, there's a missile tank. Um, when I played this game at first, I'd beaten it with only, with less than like 40, with less than 50% of the items. Oh. And the game was really difficult that way. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of missiles. Definitely. Okay, so up there on the map is um where if there's a little dot that means that there if there's a circle there that means that there's an item here. Okay, so here's here's one of those moments where it gets like really laggy. Like how I was warning you guys like what I was warning you guys about. Slow motion jumps. And I'm gonna save it. Every time I get to like... Cause every now and then my... My game will freeze. So I kinda wanna save it... There too. In case it doesn't really work. Okay, so then there's this thing. I gotta shoot it with a missile when its eye opens up. When it does that, I gotta jump and try to avoid it. Oh, I accidentally... The start and the... Okay, you know what, you guys? I... I don't like you at all. I really don't like these things. I have a feeling like I missed something. Because I don't have an energy pod yet. I don't have an energy tank yet. And I think I'm gonna need at least one for this fight. Yeah, guys, this is our first... Oh, wait, yep, there's there's our fuel tank. Um, later on in the series, because there are a bunch of items in this game, and before I get down into this boss fight, I'm just going to say this boss is really difficult. It took me... God, I don't even know how many tries it took me to kill this thing. So, yeah. I might end up cutting a bunch of this out, just for the sake of... Uh, video. I'm gonna use my missiles for this.
Okay, yeah, this time I actually beat it a lot faster than what I did last time. Mm. Last time I had so many problems fighting that boss. <laughs> Oh my god, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. Okay, I think I'm starting to get better with the controls. Okay, so now we can turn into a ball. Yeah. After this, I do plan on uh, doing a Metroid Zero Mission. See, uh, let's play. And that's kind of like the a remake of the first Metroid. That's actually, that's exactly what it is. I think this is when we get, like, a second energy tank. I know we fight another boss here really soon. And it's, um, another one of those, uh... And it's another one of those, um, <coughs> ball with spikes. It's another uh, spiky ball boss. I call it. It's actually that's the raw form of the X. Um, those are the parasites, but those, uh, the X alone are actually like, really a pain in the ass. So yeah, and then this is a recharge room. We'll go ahead and recharge, even though we don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and save. You know what? Because this emulator does have a tendency to crash. I'm going to go ahead and save then. And then I'll save again at another um, thing. You know, because it could crash at any second. And I don't want to have to redo that. Just in case if something happens to the actual game file itself, I have a backup. That's all that is, is just like backup save files. So, you know, it actually proves to be pretty useful. So yeah, this, these videos are going to be at least 20 minutes long. Wait, do I go back to the navigation room? I want to say I do. Yep, go back to the navigation room. Samus, it's as I feared. Oh, good lord. The breeding environments have been invaded by the X parasites. Sector 1 SRX shows several abnormal abnormalities. Normalities, do you know what I mean? On abnormal signs on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of SR388. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Okay, so this is when we see some pretty... Weird stuff. Remember how I told you guys how the game gets weird really quick? Okay, actually, no. I think now's a good time to show you. Okay, yeah, it's cold. I know. You know what? No. I'm gonna leave it to be a surprise. That's gonna be a surprise for you guys. There's a boss in there. I can't fight now, but I, he is, like, one of the last three bosses in the game. So... I couldn't fight him right now, even if I wanted to. Is that all the power- yep, that's nothing else in here. That power-up's kind of straightforward. There is a tiny crawl space that you can go through. Here is a power-up. <laughs> here, have a missile. <laughs> have a missile expansion pack. I think, like, when I beat the game, I had, like, 137 missiles. Or it was, like, 150. Okay, so what you're about to see, well actually I don't even know if it's, I don't think it's right here. Oh, yep, there it is. Hmm. 
Imagine a very, very amped up version of my current form. That's what I have to fight later. Oh, and I have to escape that thing so many freaking times. I have to, like, run. I think I run from it, like, three times. Oh, yeah, and the elevator died, too. Yay. Okay, so let's go. Sector 1. I have to, like, make sure I find good spots to save that. Some videos might be shorter than others, but, hey. No, I, I don't care. Uh, well, I do, but, you know. If some videos are shorter than others, I mean, this game has uh, quite a bit of dialogue, especially towards the end. I think towards the end, if I was to read every last bit of it, it would be like maybe 10 minutes of dialogue. I might just be over-exaggerating. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time. Unfortunately, some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. Well, what do you think we just saw? Duh. A report when I know more. Listen closely. The X and Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment so their needs they are, they are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now get moving. Very blunt, don't you think, man? I think it's once I get done with Sector 1, they actually reveal a little bit of story. Or not a little bit, but quite a bit of story. Oh, this is when we fight, um... Oh, uh, what is it? It's like a jumping centipede thing. This boss is very, very, very strange. Like, straight up strange. This is when we meet the, um... The little caterpillar creatures. No, we fight zombies. Um, I think sector two. Sector two is where I fight the um caterpillar jumper, jumping caterpillar. Okay, so yeah, I can only go this way. Okay, so yeah, these guys are very, very, very annoying. Oh, later on, it's so funny. I could just run through here and destroy everything. They get bigger, too. Give me health. Thank you. You're worth this piece of crap. I don't know. Um, those things are actually kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, sorry about that. Um, oh. There's the, uh, X thing that I need to take care of. Give me missile ammo. Hey, I forgot to tell you, if you shoot them, they actually spit out, uh, three X parasites. And boom, it's done. I do remember in, uh, what was it, Metroid? In the Prime series, if you charge up your beam, then you get a, uh, then you can actually draw, um, like these little life orbs closer to you. I forgot this little guy spit acid at you. Okay, watch this. I jump and grab that. There's the tank acquired. I think depends on where the next save point is, I'll stop it there. 
Uh, let me pause and see where that is. Okay, it's down there. We'll explore this room ahead. Good thing those things can't get freaking amped up. Here's right, what we'll do. We'll take down two more. We'll, we'll take down this stabilizer. We'll get this uh, one back online. And then... Okay, some people say, like, these alien species. Like, I think later on in the game, Samus makes a quote saying that these things are monsters and they don't care for uh, anything else. Well, technically, if she thinks about it, the, they are minding their own business. They're just trying to protect themselves from you. So technically, if you think about it, you're the monster to them. So we got one more stabilizer, and then I'll end the video there. I'll probably have enough for one more stabilizer anyway. I don't need the rockets right now. I'm good. I got 22 more. I want to say it's this way. Oh no, but there's you. I know, I um, kind of needed to move forward up and over it. I know it's funny, I kind of, I wanted to like, uh, ask a Game Grumps or someone to try playing this game. I feel like a one-off of it. I mean, I know one of the people from Game Grumps have played Metroid because they talked about it. I think it was, uh, Ross or something, I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah. Okay, so this is where I, f I see an enemy I can't kill. For a while. So much fun. Okay, so there are actually a few upgrades in here that we can grab. And then we'll go back and then we'll save. Okay, I think if I even try to jump for it. I'm gonna screw up. Okay, so we'll head back and we'll go to that save room. And then, yeah. Wait, is there a save room over here? Yeah, I'll just jump down here and then I'll... Stop jumping as I freaking fall down. You Freaking space pirates. I know he's going to hurt me, but... Also, I want this little dude dead. <laughs> okay, there we go. So yeah, two health tanks and the freaking next boss. Oh, dear God. Can I just, like, please move on? Okay, so I'm definitely not going to save a game without getting to, like, the actual save station. So, yeah. Sorry guys, I know these videos are kind of going to be a little longer than uh, the time I said, which is just 20 minutes, but maybe I should have ran for that other one.
Okay, we'll make it up to that safe station there. So this video is gonna be slightly longer, maybe about a few. I don't like making long videos. I don't know why. It's just a a thing I'm not used to doing. Like the, most of my videos are like nine, ten minutes, but uh, the longest video I had actually posted was like fifteen. The one that was actually meant to be a long video, which was Borderlands 2, with, um, Luck. I know what you guys must be thinking. Anakin, you can just save at any given time. Yeah, but, you know, I kind of want to just, uh, get to a save station. I'm sorry. Because, uh, in case my game freezes. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'll just save right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, well, wait a minute. Let's find out. Can I kill you guys first? Yes, I can. Okay. You know what? I'll keep it going a little longer. Um. So, yeah, tell me what you guys are... Oh. Thinking about the little... I don't know what you guys are thinking about the uh, Metroid series so far. Um, I'm going to upload another video after this one tonight. But this... Oh, sorry about that sound. But this one's going to be more of a... The next one is just going to be of a... Oh, and... Oh, catch myself. The next one is just going to be us cleaning up Sector 1. Because the save room is right up here. So, regardless, we're, we're good. Anyway. Um. Oh yeah, I'm saving. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this little series. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.